welcome to PO Sports Talk. I'm Lizzie Arbogast along with Shawn Michael, and I'm very, very sad to say that this is our last <laughs> PO Sports Talk together. It's our last time together. Yeah. Because Sean's leaving us. As a full time, I'm gonna be I around. Know. Make it sound like such a big deal, but I'll still be here. Hater. Hater. <laughs> um. All right. This week we're already midway through the season, almost. It's crazy. Um, I know it's crazy. <laughs> I, I was just saying. I feel like we prep for the season longer than the season yeah. actually is. I feel like we just did sports talk for uh, Greencastle right. Chambersburg right. yesterday. Um. All right. So this week, uh, Chambersburg is headed to State College. Uh, East Pennsboro will be hosted by Greencastle Antrim. James DeCannon is hosting Big Spring. Shippensburg is on the road at Mechanicsburg. And Northern York is at Waynesboro for their homecoming game. All those games at 7 o'clock on Friday night. We're right. starting with our game of the week this week. East Pennsboro, Greencastle. Ooh, this is a big one. Should be a doozy. Halfway through the season, this might be the division game right here. Well, and this is what we thought last year, and then it ended up not being. Well, well it counted Greencastle out. Kind of in a way, yeah. But then the injuries hit Greencastle after this game. But right. this was a really good game last year. I remember we were both there. Right. This was back and forth the whole game. Uh, I could see it very well being the same type of deal. Right, and the way that they match up, they seem to match up very well. I talked to Coach Sinanis tonight, and he said that East Pennsboro has a lot of uh, athletic skill players. Skill players, yeah. But so does Greencastle. Mm -hmm. um, they're very well balanced. East Pennsboro has about 550 rushing yards, about yeah. 550 passing yards. Uh, Greencastle, same thing, very well balanced. So. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's a toss-up. Yeah, well, the one thing that really hurt, you know, that stood out to me about Greencastle is their penalties. Right. They have averaged nine penalties a game through four games. They have 37 penalties. That's a lot of penalties. One, right. They've had one game with under five, and that was the win over West Perry two weeks ago. Last week they had nine. The first week of the season, I think they had 14. You do that against a good team like East Penn, you're going to get hurt. Right. Well, and, and here last week against Big Spring, they had two personal fouls called against them in that final drive. Yep. Now they overcame that, but Chuck said, you know, we got we can't even get ourselves in those situations. Yeah, we need to sure. not let ourselves get to the point where a personal foul could be coming. Yeah. Um, so it could come down to the wire again. I, I think it will. I really think it will. Uh, moving on down the line, uh, Chambersburg at State College. Just keeps going for yeah, Chambersburg. Yeah, it is. You keep trying to find the little wins, little victories, but uh, everyone's tired of hearing about that by now. So <laughs> It's going to be a rough game. I'll be interested to see who starts at quarterback. Uh, I know Hunter Leedy came in early last week, so I'll be interested to see if they go with him or they go back to Caden Hoover. Uh, at, at some point, you got to find some consistency and just go with it. Right, and at this point, I mean, you kind of realize the season is not it's going to be similar to last season. and. Mm -hmm. Might as well groom your youngster. Yeah, you know? that's very and true. You're going to have somebody for the next two years. Yep. Um, State, Col uh, State College has this one running back in particular, Jordan Mishler, who scored five touchdowns against yeah. Carlisle in, in just one game. And 277 yards on 27 yeah. carries. Like, come on, man. So, <laughs> Ten yards a carry, and yeah. then uh, he's walking into uh, – Trojan Stadium. So, yes. Or not so, Trojan Stadium, it's in State College. It's in State College. Either way. So even more. <laughs> His own Chambersburg has grounds. to go two and a half hours <laughs> to probably get stomped. So. Probably. <laughs> All right, another. Um, let's go to the close game. How about we talk a little Northern Let, oh, Waynesboro? Let's, let's talk a little Northern Waynesboro. Yeah, that's the game I'm looking forward to. I was so impressed by Waynesboro last week. Yeah, they lost by 20 points, but they lost by 20 points to Cedar Cliff. Yeah. And for the first half, they were right in that game. They got stuffed at the line right at the halftime right. whistle. I mean, so many things could have gone their way. They hit some big plays. Jake Wirtz looks so good in coverage on the defensive side. I absolutely loved watching him play. At that's the how I position. felt after I saw Waynesboro 2 against Gettysburg. Granted, very different competition, but mm -hmm. I was just really, really impressed by them. Yeah. They're, they're a well-rounded, solid team. And they get a good test this week. Uh, they do, and like you said, though, Northern is a seriously run-heavy team, mm -hmm. yes. and Waynesboro is very good at stopping the run. Very good. The, what, that Gettysburg game, had, they had about 20, 20 yards mm -hmm. on 40 carries, something yeah, like that? So, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, this kind of fits into the mold of what Waynesboro is doing this year. They're stopping the run, right. and, you know, Northern likes to run it. Right. So, um, another potential win for uh, Franklin County would be Shippensburg at Mechanicsburg. Yes, yes. Um... Mechanicsburg is usually a tough game, but it seems like they're kind of in a down year. They're down year 0-4, right? They're 0-4 yep. this year. They have only about 350 yards of offense so mm -hmm. far through four games, Yeah. Um, which isn't a good sign. And they also have run two different quarterbacks, so okay. I'm not really sure who the starter is. 
um, Shippensburg just is going to need to clamp down defensively. Yeah, five, 500 yards last week, 340 on the ground. That's not Shippensburg football, I can guarantee you. Eric right. Faust is not happy this week and only scored seven points with this offense that we talked about was going right. to be so dynamic this year and just seven points. Like, granted, a good team, but you expect more than seven points. Well, and also guys. they weren't on the field probably for that long. Right. They, were getting but they did throw against. three interceptions as well. True. So, um, Shippensburg just needs to tighten up. Tighten up. They should be fine. Yeah. Um, and last but not least, we've got Big Spring at James Buchanan. Um, I was really impressed by Big Spring last yeah. week against Green Castle. Um, Big Spring has had a couple of down years. They've got a new coach, and they just kind of have this don't die attitude. Yeah. And um, I mean, we all know that James Buchanan is struggling. I think even more impressive is that Big Spring didn't have their starting quarterback, and they still were right there right. with Green Castle at the end of the game. I think they're going to be a tough team to look at in this division. We're not really talking about them. Right, and the big thing is also that that the kid they did start is only a sophomore, yeah. and he looked good. I mean, mm -hmm. he was a mobile quarterback, so you know if they need him down the line, like they've got they've got that person that can fill those yeah. shoes. Right. JV, on the other hand, is you know they've got some quarterback issues right now, and um, I'd say it's more than quarterback, but yeah, it's just it's part know, of it. It's just yeah. issues. It's one of those down years for JV. You know they have such a small team. Right. Whenever you lose so many guys like Pates, Peter Huey, Blake Egolf, it's just it's tough to rebound from that so quickly right. like some of these other teams can. Now this is a game that I think that they would want to keep close. They've got yeah. to get some yes. closer games. Yeah. They might not be expecting to win, but they need to not be not get blown get, getting beat by three right. points. So. Yeah. That'll be good for them too if they can do that. Right. So. All right, until next week, enjoy the games.